Hi, in this video, I will brief you about the different cell formats of lithium-ion technology that is currently available today in the market. Which we typically see here that the largely proven cell format is a cylindrical cells. If you kind of go back by 1992, that was the first ever commercially available lithium-ion cell that was made by Sony. The first ever cells made by Sony were the cylindrical cells. That's why today in the market, you do get various different formats of cells. And specifically in the format of a cylindrical, you kind of find the 18650 as the most mature cell format that is currently available. Why? Because many of the other applications like laptop applications or many other applications, we still use 18650 as the format of the cylindrical cells. The 18 means the diameter of the cell and 65 is the height of the cell. Usually the last letter, that, that's the last part of the 18650 as a zero, represents the cylindrical format of the cell as well. So like in similar, we have 21700, and this was a cell that was used in Tesla, um, which is um, the, the specifically we have teared down the Tesla's battery pack, and we have got this cell. So this is the cell that was actually used in the first generation of Tesla. So then we go to 21700. So from 18650, Tesla has moved to 21700 for the next generation of the, the electric car that they have made. So the 21 is the diameter of the cell, and um, the uh, 70 is the height of the cell as well. So from this one, the anyway Tesla has moved to 4680. We do not have that cell available here. And that means the 40 is the diameter, and 80 is the height of the cell that they have used. So they have kind of transitioned from having a smaller cell uh, to a larger cells. The same way we have, uh, we have also the cells that is 26650, and also we have cells like uh, 32650 as well. That you typically see here that the, the size of the cell gradually increases, and largely the diamet diameter has been the component that has been keep on increasing in any of the cells as well. So apart from these, these formats of cylindrical cells, we also get the prismatic cells that is typically looks like the rectangular in shape, right? So here in cylindrical cells, we have this is uh, negative, that is your anode, and typically the flat side is the negative and the positive is coming on the opposite, so where you see some kind of a, a different dimensioning and visibility clearly on the positive edge as well. So if you clearly want to see that, you know, you can see that uh, this is the flat side, that's typically the negative side, and the positive side is the one which you kind of have some variations on the other side. So the negative is typically connected to anode, and the positive is typically connected to a cathode. So here in the prismatic cell format that uh, you have the rectangular shape, and uh, you could see the positive and negative terminals on the other side as well. And we also have another format that has been used by uh, various automakers as well. Like if you take a Chevy Bolt as used um, pouch cells in their vehicles that was supplied by LG. And uh, you could also see that uh, was also used in some of the vehicle platforms by Nissan as well, the pouch cells were used. So this is a typical uh, pouch cell format that has been there. So which is also having your positive and negative terminals as well. The only differences between this cell and this cell leaving the internal construction of how the anode and cathode is put. But it, it has a very hard case, right? This is having a hard case. And this also has a, a typical steel as a material for the hard case. But the pouch cells doesn't usually have the hard casing. And they kind of have the very soft uh, structure as all together. So in this video, as we just sort of go through that, we understood different formats of cells, that is cylindrical format and prismatic format and a pulse cell as well. So many automakers go for different kind of uh, specific formats. As I said, some have gone for cylindrical cells. If you take Tesla has gone for cylindrical cells. Tata Nexon has gone for cylindrical cells. And even Neo has gone for it. Lucid has gone for cylindrical cells. It's kind of a very uh, detailed approach of why somebody choose cylindrical cells. But if you typically see today in applications like bus or trucks, people are trying to go for uh, applications like uh, the prismatic cells. And some automakers are also going to use the, the cells such as the, the pouch cells in applications such as, uh, as I said, Chevy Bolt and also with Nissan Leaf as well. So that's a quick introduction about different formats of the cells that are currently available. And just another point that compared to cylindrical cells, 
The cylindrical cells are more of a defined size. There are specific standard dimensions that we currently see in the market, but it's not like the same way for a prismatic or a pouch. You don't have like a defined uh, length, width, width for the length, breadth, and thickness or anything of that for cylindrical or pouch cells as well. So that's the quick idea and understanding of the different formats of the cells that are currently available in the market for lithium-ion technology.